I ride for my wife, uh, Elahe Rafapur. We were married for 24 years. She died from uh, neuroendocrine cancer in April of 2013. That was the first year of obliteride, and so it was very special to me. More than anything, I admire my dad for every night for my mom's last 365 days, he was sleeping next to her, whether it was in the cot, on the floor, in whatever country, city, around the world that they had to go to and, and doctors they had to visit. One of her biggest wishes was to be at my wedding. Um, that was... <laughs> Her, her spirit um, was hopeful to the, the very last second. She was one of a kind. And um, the last year, it was, it was both difficult and inspirational to see her fight. And that you know, made it even more hard when she passed away, obviously, because it felt like uh, life was bursting out of her brown eyes, and then it's gone. felt lost because I was so connected with her and we did everything together. But uh, when I heard about obliteride, I said, here's something I can focus on, I can, I can put my energy into. And yeah, it was a very good way to uh, get through the grieving process and uh, throw myself into something that could make a difference, I hope. Yeah. The first two years I rode my wife's old bike too. And that bike has been in every obliteride because after two years, I got more into it. I bought a more expensive bike. And I but ride Cyrus her. rides her bike, so. You know, it's a special thing to be surrounded by people who can empathize with you and know what you've been through. And on the other hand, it's, it's a celebratory day. And it's, it's a day that, that reminds me, you know, whenever we, we hit a hill in obliteride, I, I think about my mom and it's like, if, if she could deal with that and push through the pain, there's no reason I can't make it up that hill. There's no progress without hope. You know, you have to hope that <laughs> you're gonna get a cure and, and you will. There's no alternative to that. She really did focus on how important hope was. What better way to bring out hope than to have an organization like Fred Hutch? Their whole focus is to research cancer and find ways to cure it. I think she'd love that we were doing that. It's something we've turned into a tradition for our family, and it's something that brings us together, and that's something that was really important to her as well. It really helped me uh, in my uh, journey through grief and uh, I hope to do it for many more years to come. <laughs>